Welcome, members of the audience, to what would you like to buy online today? Some ill-manufactured toys for children, dangly little choking hazards included, skin disease, mm. or maybe you'd like to fund the ongoing crisis of, a. Uh, child indentured servitude. That's bad. You can fund all of this and more by going to Timu. Oh god it sucks. Timu, a Chinese dropshipping company that has uh, nothing going for it. Honestly I can't comprehend why people use this app. It is so bad. <laughs> it's useless. It really doesn't have anything going for it except for really low prices for really bad products. You know they say you pay for what you you get uh, and they, they couldn't be more right about this. Th this, exact, this, right here. On Timu, you can get so many things, including silicone baby in figurines. Lifelike, 10 of them for $45. Why? Truly, you can get anything on Timu that you can get on, like, Amazon, except for this time, it's made with cheap fabrics, bad plastics, and overall terrible quality. All thanks to our old little pal, drop shipping. And if you don't know what drop shipping is, completely, it means that a company that has off-site warehouses. Basically, it means that the company that is a drop shipping company, they don't have everything on site. A lot of the stuff that they advertise or ship to you or sell to you are off-site. They're not in their warehouse. They are elsewhere, which leads to a lot of problems that we will go through. The reason a place like Target isn't a drop shipping company, even though not everything they own is gonna be in a store ready to be sold to you, it's, you know, shipped to them, is because everything is through Target. Everything that they sell, everything that they manufacture, everything that they do is either through a company that they work with or through Target. They don't have any third party people making all of their Target brand stuff they do it. And everything they sell to you is usually through their storefront. If you order something online through Target, it probably comes from a store or is shipped to you or delivered to you directly from that store. It's not usually just going to be straight from somewhere else. And the reason Amazon isn't a drop shipping company is because though they suck and they're terrible, they do everything themselves. They don't ship things from some third party warehouse in Russia because they can. They don't. They they ship it all through Amazon. You get what I'm saying, right? Amazon isn't drop shipping because everything that they sell is sold through them. Everything they ship is shipped through them. They do the quality check. They do the, the checks and certificates of everything will be fine and you won't get a disease shipped to you through this package because we check it and we make it and all that stuff. And that's your quick crash course on drop shipping. And I'm sure you're wondering, how did anybody ever think drop shipping could be a good idea? Yeah, I asked myself that same thing, but you know, Timu exists. <laughs> Let's go over all the reasons they suck. Like a dream feels like my dream. Now I believe I can dream again. <laughs> Ah, great. We're starting off great. This is great. This is awesome. Yeah, the, the keen-eyed will realize what is wrong with that ad, and I can't find any way to describe it without, like, any of it being clipped, and then it makes me out to be a terrible person because it's that bad, which makes me think it is a good ad. Maybe, and hear me out, it's terrible and disgusting, but their marketing was good because now all the people can't complain about it because it's, uh, they'll get clipped. Ha! <laughs> No, but actually this ad's stupid. Whoever came up with this ad, I don't even know how that could possibly go down. Oh, hey Terry. <laughs> how you doing? Are you working on that ad for our terrible, horrendous company that we work for day in and day out? Oh, hey, 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 Clarence. Yeah, um, this... This ad needs something. I don't know. It's, uh, it's missing something. I can't really put my finger on it, but they're... It just needs some more pizzazz. Oh, I have a, oh, I have an idea though. Oh, I have a, a great idea. Do you know do you know what makes people happy? Uh no, no, I got I got no clue. I, I mean there are plenty of things, but uh I don't know, you're probably talking about something in specific. Uh, no, no, I don't know exactly what you're talking about, Clarence. Sorry. People are always at their happiest when they have clear skin. Yes, that is a great Oh my god, when I, when I, when my skin is clear and bright, it makes me so much happier. It really does. Oh, yes, 
Terrence, when I take care of my skin and it looks good and I feel good, I feel good and it looks good, you know? I know exactly what you're talking about. This is going to be the best ad that any company has ever made, ever. <laughs> Terry, what? Yeah, that ad is just a little goof in comparison to the many, many lawsuits and problems that they have caused for many people. Because, uh, yeah, there are still ongoing lawsuits for this company. For instance, they have stolen so much information. Like, so much. It is absurd. They probably make a lot of their profits off of the fact that they steal information from people. You know, they, they sell all this stolen information because their app asks you term and conditions, blah, 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 which nobody reads. And I, and I would say maybe we should, but nobody's going to do that. It's, it's so long and... Uh, some people did, and then they found out that, oh, you have all the rights to my information on my phone if I press this little checkmark box, huh? And then people, of course, realized that uh, their information was being stolen. You know, all these apps that I commonly use are now knowing everything about me. Huh. <laughs> Weird. You know, it all started with that orange little box. The, that little... That company with the best deals, ah, but it, you can't even call it a company with the best deals. Stealing people's information is a common practice now, and that is strange and absurd to me, obviously. That's uh, uh, baffling, but the problem is not inherently just that they're like every other terrible company and they steal information. It is how much information they have stolen. It is how much information they have stolen. It is wild, wild. People still use this app frequently too. It's most popular in England. Yeah, it is. It, and for some reason that makes sense. I hate to say it Brits, but this may it makes a lot of sense that you guys would like this, you know, like silicone babies. At, that seems like an English thing, like a British thing, you know, like, ooh, me and my little baby. Also, God bless the king. You're not real. Also, guys, Timu's stealing your information. Anybody with that app right now, please Please delete it. Oh my god, please delete it. But but if you're not convinced now why that app is terrible, if you don't care about people stealing your information and making racist advertisements, that you know, that can all be forgiven if you want to, I guess. But plenty of false advertising, obviously. There are there are plenty more ads where it's just like some lady screaming about how like nobody'll buy our Stuff. I'm sure you saw it like six months ago or whatever where some lady was just nobody will buy our stuff Our drones are 50 cents buy them. Oh my god I'm gonna smash them with a baseball bat because nobody will buy it if I can find a clip I'll put it in here somewhere, but I don't I don't know those ads were like short-lived. I ugh. Basically uh, those were all false advertising up. Uh, that's a problem What's more of a problem is the fact of they have so many children's toys so many that have caused children harm their toys are made to be so Cheap and breakable and just terribly unsafe for people that they are advertised to be for not any skin rashes or anything like that No, they're so cheaply made that they snap at an instant of any amount of pressure and then are quickly Inhaled into that child's system and then they cause irreparable damage to that child's body and that has happened not once, not twice, but many times. And they have many ongoing lawsuits involving this problem. I can't comprehend how this, this company is afloat. That means they have made a disgusting amount of money. And it is probably absurd how much money they have made off of their company. But overall, they probably have a lot more money than Amazon. Just because, just because of the illegal stuff they are doing. Speaking of more illegal stuff, they sent somebody to the hospital. Now we have Timu that has sent out this stress ball and uh, this lady received this stress ball she ordered from Timu. She got it and there was like this white powder substance on the outside. Maybe she used it and she thought, oh, this is okay. It's just part of the filling or whatever. Turns out that that white powder was like an anthrax type substance. Playing gloves on BC, someone said they got hands, foot, and mouth disease by opening their Temu packet. Again, drop shipping has a lot of problems with it inherently, but specifically it's because they are not monitored by people who give any number of <laughs> about what happens to the product that is being shipped.
And then you get instances where problems like this arise, where skins of people are exposed to the chemicals or uh, diseases that other people had while dealing with these clothes that are very inexpensive, but, you know, those clothes are worn by people who buy it. And then the people who were shipping it and handling it might have had some kind of virus or rash or something that was then put onto that clothing item that was then worn by some English or American person who thought, oh, four dollars for a blouse? Don't mind if I do. And then you get a skin rash because drop shipping. <laughs> yeah, it's great. But also, the worst possible thing that came of this drop shipping problem was an incident. An incident of a man who bought a stress ball. An innocent little stress ball that he didn't know was going to be covered in anthrax. I've heard multiple cases of it being a man or a woman, so I'm just going to go with the former. Uh, th just going forward, there might be multiple cases here, which would make this even worse than it already is. What is anthrax, you ask? It sounds like the demonic spawn from a medieval movie. Well, <laughs> it's not too far off. It's a fatal skin disease that is transmitted through cows, bovines, you know, those kinds of things, and sheep also. Uh, it's a disease, a skin disease, that is transmuted through these animals. And then when it is given to people, it can be extremely fatal. Thankfully, this man made a full recovery, apparently, allegedly, because a lot of this is word of mouth. There isn't much about this right now because it just happened recently, but thankfully, this man apparently made it out uh, unscathed, fine. Probably a scar or something from the skin wound that comes from anthrax, but thankfully, overall, that person is okay. That does not excuse the fact that a man got anthrax from a Timu product. What? How does that happen? The obvious answer for how that that happens is because drop shipping like I've said multiple multiple times do you know what also happens to be drop shipping the TikTok shop yeah the TikTok shop is drop shipping guys stop ordering stuff from the TikTok shop whenever I see one of those ads of people being like oh my god look at this water flosser put your put your mouthwash in this water flosser it <laughs> it'll work wonders on your gums you have no idea it's it's great for you yeah that goes in your mouth and it's a product of drop shipping. Oh my god. <laughs> when you connect the dots and you realize how many things are drop shipping, me personally, I've never used any drop shipping companies or things like that to get me things because it's not safe nor is it okay. But thankfully, there aren't many problems with the TikTok shop because it's mostly people who are doing it, like regular everyday people. But because it is drop shipping, it could inherently have the same problems as Timu. For instance, one of those main problems one of the main terrible terrible problems is the fact that they use slaves they use indentured servants who uh, have no freedom they do not get paid and they uh they work for this company day in and day out with no amenities no workers rights and definitely they're not being paid the only thing that they get to do is stay alive is what i'm guessing because that's often how you keep people under indentured servitude so bbc let out an article about this and <laughs> i would just like to say that like the british broadcasting network is uh absurd to me this is uh, on a tangent but like on this article they say things that make absolutely no sense to me. In this quote here I put on screen for you to read says, the question consumers need to ask themselves is, these goods that are in essence made by slaves, is that the kind of gift you want to give at Christmas? Guys, what? <laughs> we're not worried about Christmas. We're not worried about giving these as gifts. What we're worried about is the fact that the, the problem is that these people are under slaves. That's the problem. These people are being taken advantage of. It shouldn't matter to you whether you're giving that as a gift or whatever. Like, again, British, British people, bro. What is going on over there? Y'all are wild. Wild, I say. But uh, I digress. The problem isn't we're giving these as gifts. The problem isn't, oh no, what about Christmas? What about Kris Kringle? No, the problem is in this article that they divulged a lot of the facts that people have been finding out about Timu, and a lot of those facts involve that they're not paying their workers, like at all, none, zip. They're not giving money, they're not giving housing, they're not giving anything to these people, they're not paying them in any way, which is illegal worldwide for a good goddamn reason. I shouldn't have to explain this, but I feel the need. Every single person is the exact same 
thing, okay? We are all exactly the same constitution of molecules and brain waves, and uh, in essence, we all kind of are the same organism. We just have different experiences and different, uh, you know, life paths or whatever. So what I never understood is how somebody could think, oh, that thing that is exactly the same as me, shouldn't have any right to anything. So I'm gonna make them work for me because it makes me a lot of money. That train of thought is literally the most idiotic train of thought ever. There is no way that that should make any sense to anybody. There is no reality to that mindset because people are all the same. We're literally all the same makeup of things. Any experience you've ever had has probably been had by somebody else. And that means that you are putting somebody in a position who is almost exactly like you in every way except for their experiences, a living being who is able to experience the same emotions as you in a position that you probably wouldn't even put like your son or your grandmother or anything like that because you have more value for that person. And that overall doesn't make any sense. Slavery doesn't make any sense, guys. And it doesn't even stop there. That's the biggest issue. The biggest issue is that it doesn't, it just keeps going. Not only do they have slaves, they have children working for them who are unpaid, unhoused. They are given no workers' rights. They have nothing. They have people working at their warehouses and their other third-party warehouses that they have nothing to do with who are children, let alone that they are unpaid, that they are under indentured servitude. N none of that, right? The, the biggest issue is that they have children working for them who were not paid. Guys, can you delete Timo from your phone now? Can we all uh, uh, coherently agree that this app sucks and that we uh, shouldn't use it, that we shouldn't order from them, that they are terrible? Just alone, the fact that they have so many lawsuits going on should make sure that people stop using this app, this service. It is not a service that could give you anthrax. It could literally end your life Please stop using it for that fact alone, okay? Timu sucks. They're really bad. They're they're really bad. Dropshipping as a whole should stop, but because of the fact alone that it's less monitored, it's less taken care of, a lot of the things that are shipped to people through these companies are overall less safe. They're less checked. They're less kept in check. They're just not, they're not safe really at all. And that's the biggest issue. Timu just took it a step further and then another step further and then another step further and then another step further and uh <laughs> yeah they suck. All right stop using Timu please god. You know where Timu's going? Right down right down in right ooh right down into loser hell. <laughs> loser hell. Yes that's where you're going. I hope you're I hope you're not comfy at all. I really hope it it doesn't treat you well. It doesn't. It won't. <laughs> have fun. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. You have a great attention span. Delete Timu from your phone, please. I really appreciate your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know how you felt about this one. All right, let me know. Also, if you're drawing, crocheting, doing your laundry, I'm proud of you. You're doing great. You're doing amazing. It's awesome. It looks good. Make sure to clean your room, get all your cups and dishes and all your stuff cleaned up and good, all right? Maybe vacuum. Could always use a good vacuuming, right? Sounds good, doesn't it? This video is brought to you by this member. Wow. <laughs> You're pretty awesome. You're pretty great. You're pretty cool. You're pretty snazzy, and I really, I really appreciate you. You're super cool. <laughs> awesome, awesome, amazing, all right? I can't do it without you. You make the wheels turn. All my members do. You're all amazing. If you want to be featured in a Lewis video, just become a member. You'll be right there. This video is a terrible subject to cover. Like, I, I can't say it enough how gross and terrible Timu is. Like, they just keep going. The, the, the amount of bad that they are just keeps g going. Like, I'm sure I could find ten or more things than this that are bad about Timu. But I just felt like I had to get the worst of the worst out there. Like, this... They have probably... They have probably ended lives that just, it hasn't been recorded because, well, no, they died from this disease, but how did they get that disease? It's because it came from a package that somebody got or whatever, you know? They have probably actively hurt so many people. So many people, let alone the unpaid people who are children and adults who work for them. 
excluding those people who have suffered so much, the consumers of this company have been hurt as well, all right? And that's less of an issue than the unpaid people, but it just doesn't make any sense why people are using the app still to this day, right? I wasn't going to make a video on Timu, but people are still using it. Stop. Stop. Okay? Jeez. All right? Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for watching. You're amazing. I hope you have a good morning, evening, or afternoon, wherever you are. Later.